Hey guys, I'm T and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, we make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week. And if you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. This no fuss turtleneck was a request from a bunch of you and I finally got a chance to make it. I've been wanting to for a while and now that I've got new yarn, I thought now's a very good time. <laughs> Cheesy puns aside, this would be perfect in any corporate setting or as part of a stylish New Year's outfit. So work hard, play harder, and look good while you're doing it. And stay looking good by subscribing to the channel and making all the fly pieces we come out with. You'll look great and you'll have the benefit of knowing no one else will look like you. At least until the channel gets bigger, so get in on that. Before I go, whenever, wherever this may may reach you, I hope you're having a wonderful day. And if not, I'm sending you lots of love to make it a little bit better. Now let's start the video, so without further ado. For this project, any Category 4 yarn will work, but I used a total of 340 grams of yarn, or that's 760 yards if you're stateside. As the tools, a 5.5mm hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Watch to the end of the video to learn how to enter this week's giveaway. We're using three stitches for this project, and they'll be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch. Single crochet. And half double crochet. This tutorial is for size small, but you can adjust it for your size, and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this top started, we're first going to grab our category 4 yarn, and make a slip knot. Next, we're going to grab our 5.5mm hook, and start off by making a chain that reaches from our underarm down to where we want the bottom of our top to be. I want mine to be about 14 inches, or 35 centimeters, so I'm going to make a chain of 60. Now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain and do a chain up of two. This is our turning chain. From here, we're going to yarn over and insert our hook into the third chain from our hook or into that chain that we blocked off. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through one. You should have three loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through three. And our first half double crochet is finished. Let's do the next one. We're going to yarn over. Insert your hook into that next chain, pull through, yarn over, and pull through three. Put one half double crochet into every chain, leaving the last one so that we can increase together. And now that we have half double crocheted all the way down, we should have one chain left, and we're going to do an increase of two half double crochets into there. So how we do that is yarn over, insert your hook into that last chain with one half double crochet, and then into that same last chain with one more. So yarn over, insert your hook into that same last chain, pull through, pull through three. And we should have two half double crochets coming out of that last chain. From here, we're gonna do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then do a row of back loop slip stitches. So instead of inserting your hook in through both loops, we're gonna insert our hook into the loop that's furthest away from us. So this is the back loop. We're going to yarn over and pull through both loops on our hook. There's one, there's two. Let's do this again. Insert your hook into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through two, and put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. We want this portion to reach the corner of our underarm, so I'm going to stop after this row, but I will do the next row with you guys just to remind you how to do a back loop half double crochet. And now that we've put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, we're now going to switch to a half double crochet row, but this is going to be done into the back loops. So to start up our half double crochet row, we're going to do a chain up of two and flip our work. From here, we're going to yarn over, then we're going to insert our hook into that first back loop, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through three. That's our first back loop half double crochet. Let's do one more. So yarn over. Insert your hook into that first back loop, pull through, pull through three. Put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last one because we're going to be increasing into our half double crochet rows. Now that we've done our back loop half double crochets all the way down, we have left our last stitch. We're going to do another increase together. So from here, we're going to yarn over. Insert your hook into that last back loop, yarn over, pull through, Yarn over, pull through three with our first half double crochet, and then one more into that same last stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull through. Yarn over, 
pull through three. Next is a back loop slip stitch row, so do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then make your way down, putting one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. From here, keep doing rows of back loop slip stitches and back loop half double crochets with an increase till this reaches the corner of your underarm. Like I said in a previous clip, I just needed mine to be those two rows, but get yours done, and then I'll meet you back right after a slip stitch row. Once we reach the corner of our underarm, we're now going to do a few more rows of increases to get a nice curve right before we go in with our shoulder. I have a total of two rows right here, and since I ended on my back loop slip stitch row, I'm going to be putting one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last stitch so that we can do an increase of three at the end of this row. Now that we've put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, into that last stitch, we're going to do an increase of three back loop half double crochets. So we're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that last back loop, pull through, pull through three, and then two more into that same stitch. All right, and then these are my three half double crochets. That is my increase of three back loop half double crochets. From here, we're going to need to increase into our slip stitch row as well. So do a chain up of two. Once we have that, we're gonna flip our work and insert your hook into that second chain from our hook. So we're gonna skip this one, this counts as our turning chain, insert your hook into the next. Yarn over, pull through everything. Insert your hook into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through everything. And then we're gonna put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. When we reach the end of our row, do a chain up of two, flip our work, and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch while maintaining that increase of three into that last stitch. And we're going to repeat our two previous rows until this reaches the front of our body, making sure that we end on the increase side, which is our half double crochet end, and then I'll meet you guys back. All right, I now have my underarm rows. I ended on my fifth row, which is my half double crochet row. And now I'm going to make a chain that reaches up to my shoulder. So I'm gonna make a chain of five inches or 13 centimeters, or that's 17 chains. Now that we have our chain, we're going to do the next row in our sequence, which is a back loop slip stitch row. So we're going to block off that last chain and do a chain up of one. Into that chain that we blocked off, or the second chain from our hook, we're going to insert with a slip stitch. So insert your hook, yarn over, and pull through everything. We're going to continue to put one slip stitch into every chain, and then once we reach the body portion, we're going to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And when we reach the end, we're going to do a chain up of two, flip our work, and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. And alternate between those two rows until the shoulder portion reaches the base of our neck. And I'll meet you guys back right after a slip stitch row. Alright, I have finished up my shoulder portion and I now have a total of eight rows. We're now going to work on our next scoop and we're first going to insert our stitch marker into the stitch along the top where we want our scoop to start. I inserted my stitch marker into the second stitch from the top and then from here we're going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch going all the way up leaving two stitches right before our stitch marker. We've half double crocheted all the way down. We have one, two stitches right before our stitch marker, and we're going to do a decrease into those next two stitches. So yarn over, insert your hook into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through one. We should have three loops on our hook, and then once more, insert your hook into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through one. You should now have four loops on our hook. From here, we're gonna yarn over and pull through all four. After that, do a chain up of one, flip our work, and we're going to do the next row in our sequence, which is a slip stitch row, and we're going to start with a decrease for this row as well. So start off by inserting your hook into that first back loop, yarn over, pull through one. Insert your hook into that next back loop. From here, we're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops that's on our hook. So we're going to yarn over and automatically pull through all three of those loops. Put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. When we reach the end, do a chain up of two, flip our work, and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last two stitches so that we can decrease together. All right, we're back and we're going to do one more decrease with our back loop half double crochets and then one more decrease with our back loop slip stitch rows. 
So we have made our way with back loop half double crochets until we have just two stitches left. We're going to yarn over, insert our hook into that second to last back loop, yarn over, pull through one, three loops on our hook, and then insert your hook into that next back loop or the last back loop, yarn over, pull through one, four loops on our hook, yarn over, and pull through all four loops. Do a chain up of one. And now we're going to start this row by doing a decrease of two back loop slip stitches. Insert your hook into that first back loop, yarn over, pull through one, two loops on our hook. Insert your hook into that next back loop, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. Put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, and then our next row is a row of back loop half double crochets with a decrease along the end. We're going to repeat our two previous rows until we reach mid chest, making sure we end on our back loop half double crochet row. All right, so I'm back with my decrease portion and I have a total of 17 rows. And we're now going to do our middle row. We should have all ended on our back loop half double crochet row. So our middle row is going to be a back loop slip stitch row with no increases and no decreases. Do a chain up of one, flip our work, and put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. When we reach the end, do a chain up of two, flip our work, and then we're going to do a row of back loop half double crochet and then increase on the end because we want to mirror everything that we did on this side. So work your way up with your back loop half double crochets, leave the last stitch, and I'll meet you back so we can increase together. All right, so we just finished our middle row and our back loop half double crochet row, oh, leaving our last stitch, and we're going to increase together. So yarn over, insert your hook into that last back loop, pull through, pull through three, one more back loop half double crochet into that last stitch. So yarn over, insert, pull through, and pull through three. Now, since we did a decrease into both of our half double crochet and back loop slip stitch rows, we need to do an increase into our half double crochet row, which is what we just did, and then also into our slip stitch row as well. So from here, we're going to do a chain up of two and flip into the second chain from our hook we're going to insert with a back loop slip stitch so we're going to skip this chain insert your hook into the next chain's back loop yarn over pull through everything and put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch and from here we're going to repeat our two previous rows that we just did so an increase into both our back loop half double and back loop slip stitch row or the same amount of rows that we have on this side, and then I'll meet you guys back. I've made my way across with the increased side of my next loop. I have the same amount of rows as I have on the other side, and now we're going to do the same shoulder portion that we did over here. We're gonna start by making a chain that's the same amount of stitches that we skipped on this side. So if you guys have my numbers, we skipped one, two stitches. So over here, we're gonna start by making a chain of two. When we have our chain, we're going to block off the last chain, do a chain up of one. This counts as our turning chain, and then we're going to slip stitch into that second chain from our hook. So we're going to skip one, insert your hook into the next, yarn over, pull through everything, and we're going to put one back loop slip stitch into every chain. And since I am at my body portion, I'm going to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. When we make our way down to the end, do a chain up of two, flip your work, and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. And keep repeating those two rows until we have the same amount of rows as our shoulder portion that we have over here. And then I'll meet you guys back so that we can do our underarm portion together. My shoulder rows are done, and now we're going to do our underarm. We're gonna start our underarm by inserting our stitch marker into the same amount of stitches as chains that we made on this side. So if you guys have my numbers, I did a chain up of 17 on this side. So along this side, counting from the top, I'm going to count down 17 and insert my stitch marker. From here, I'm going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last three stitches right before our stitch marker because we're going to do the same curve up to the shoulder portion that we did on this side. All right, I have half double crocheted all the way up and I have left three stitches right before my stitch marker. So I'm gonna yarn over, 
insert my hook into that third to last back loop. Yarn over, pull through. Insert your hook into that second to last back loop. Yarn over, pull through, four loops on our hook, and then into that last back loop. Yarn over, pull through, five loops on our hook. From here, yarn over and pull through all five loops. Do a chain up of one and flip our work. Now we're going to do a decrease of two back loop slip stitches because we did an increase on this side. So insert your hook into that first back loop, pull through into that next back loop, yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. We're gonna repeat these two rows until we have the same amount of underarm rows where we did an increase into every row as this side. And then I'll meet you guys back one more time so that we can finish this off with the rest of our underarm portion. I've just finished up going in with my first few underarm rows where we did a decrease into every row. Now we're going to do the same amount of rows that we did on this side, where we only decreased into our back loop half double crochet rows. So from here, since I ended on a back loop half double crochet, I'm going to do a chain up of one, which I already have, and make my way down, putting one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. When we reach the end, do a chain up of two, flip our work, and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch while decreasing into the last two. And we're gonna repeat those two rows for the same amount as we have over here, and then do a chain up of one and cut. I finished going in with the rest of my underarm portion, and I have done a chain up of one and cut. When we have this, we're going to be doing one more panel that is exactly the same. Get that done, and then I'll meet you guys back so that we can seam our sides and our shoulders together. When we have both our front and our back panel finished, we're now going to do an outside loop slip stitch seam for the side. So what we're first gonna do is flip one of our panels so that our ribbing is face downward. Take the other panel and make sure that this rib is faced upwards so everything is faced right side out. We're now gonna insert our hook into the corner stitch of the front panel and also into the corner stitch of the back panel. From here, we're gonna insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through both loops, and do a chain up of one. We're now going to do our outside loop slip stitches. So into that next available stitch, we're going to insert our hook only in through that front loop or the loop that's closest to us. So insert, and then into the next available stitch into the back panel, insert your hook into that back loop or the loop that's furthest away from us. So insert. We should have three loops on our hook. So we're gonna yarn over and pull through all three loops. Let's do the next one. Into that next available stitch into the front panel, insert your hook in through that front loop. Into the next available stitch into the back panel, insert your hook in through that back loop. Yarn over, pull through all three. Put one outside loop slip stitch into every stitch. When we reach the end, do a chain up of one and cut. We've seamed our side and are now ready to do our shoulder seam. Doing our shoulder, we're going to wanna to flip our work inside out, meaning the rib that we have is faced each other. We're gonna insert our hook into the corner stitch into the front panel and the back panel. Insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through everything, and do a chain up of one to secure. We're gonna be putting one seam crochet into every side row until we don't have any more side rows to go into. So into my next side row is this side half double crochet. I'm gonna insert my hook into there, going into the front panel, then from my next side half double crochet into the back panel, insert my hook, and single crochet. We're going to maintain this going all the way down. When we don't have any more stitches left, do a chain up of one and cut, and then repeat what we did here on the other side. We've seamed our entire piece, and now we're going to do our turtleneck. So start by inserting your hook into any stitch into the neck hole. I'm gonna insert my hook into these side stitches. I'm gonna insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through, and do a chain up of one. From here, we're gonna put one single crochet into every stitch that we have. And then once we reach our side rows, we're gonna be putting two single crochet into every side half double, and then one single crochet into every side slip stitch. So since my next row is a side half double crochet, I'm gonna insert my hook with two single crochets. Find that top loop, insert, 
with one single crochet. And then into that same side half double crochet. Insert your hook with your second single crochet. Next, we're gonna be putting one single crochet into our side slip stitch row. This one may be a little tricky because there's not an actual loop for us to go into. So we're going to have to find one, insert your hook, and single crochet. Let's do this together just one more time. So this is my next side half double crochet. So I'm gonna insert with one, and then insert with two single crochets into that side half double. This is my next side slip stitch. So I'm going to insert my hook into there with one single crochet. And I'm gonna make my way all the way around doing this single crochet sequence, slip stitch into that chain up of one space. And then I'll meet you guys back so that we can go in with the length of our turtleneck. Now that we've single crocheted all the way around, we're now going to make a chain the length that we want our turtleneck to be, keeping in mind that we will be folding it in half. So I want mine to be a total of six inches or 15 centimeters. So I'm gonna make a chain of 23. Now that we have our chain, we're gonna block off that last chain to a chain up of one. This counts as our turning chain, and into that chain that we blocked off, we're gonna insert our hook with a slip stitch. So let's do the next one. Insert your hook into that next chain, yarn over, and pull through everything. Continue to put one slip stitch into every chain. Now that we've slip stitched into every chain, we're now going to slip stitch it into the base. So into that next available stitch that we have, we're going to insert our hook, yarn over, and pull through everything to close off our first slip stitch row. We're gonna work our way up to the next row by slip stitching into that next available stitch, and we're gonna flip our work. We're now gonna be putting one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. So insert your hook into that next available back loop, yarn over, pull through everything. Into that next back loop, yarn over, and pull through everything. Continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. When we don't have any more left, do a chain up of one, flip our work, then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch again, connecting it into the base the same way that we just did. I'll meet you back when we don't have any more stitches left so that we can seam our turtleneck. We've made our way all the way around with our back loop slip stitch rows. We don't have any more stitches left, so now we're going to seam our turtleneck the same way that we seamed our sides. So we're going to be inserting our hook into that first available stitches front loop. And then into the back panel, we're gonna insert a hook into that first available stitches back loop. Should have three loops on our hook, so we're gonna yarn over and pull through all three. Let's do this together just one more time. Into that next available stitch into the front panel, insert your hook into that front loop. Into the next available stitches back loop in the back panel, we're gonna insert a hook into that back loop. Yarn over and pull through all three. We're gonna make our way down, putting one outside loop slip stitch into every stitch. When we don't have any more left, do a chain up of one and cut. We're ready to start working on our sleeve. We're gonna start by inserting our hook into the last stitch of our side seam. We're gonna insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through. Making sure that we're working clockwise for this first row, we're gonna be putting two single crochets into every side half double crochet, skipping our slip stitch rows in between, then one single crochet into every stitch going up and over our shoulder. So let's get this started. This is my first side half double crochet right here. So I'm gonna insert my hook into there with one single crochet, and then into that same side half double, my second single crochet. We're gonna skip over this side slip stitch, single crochet twice into the side half double crochet. So there is my first, and there is my second. Let's do the next one. Insert your hook into there with one single crochet and then two single crochet. I've now reached my shoulder portion. So from here, I'm gonna put one single crochet into every stitch, making our way up and over. I'm going to continue to put two single crochets into every side half double crochet. I'm gonna slip stitch into that chain up one space. We've made our way all the way around with our first single crochet row. For our second row, we're gonna make sure that we're still working clockwise. We did a slip stitch into that chain up of one space. So from here, we're gonna do another chain up of one. And from here, we're going to do some single crochets and then half double crochets 
and single crochet is closing this row off because we need this portion to spill over our shoulder. So I'm going to start off by going in with six single crochets and I chose six because I had six single crochets that went into my underarm portion right here. Now that I have my six single crochets, we're now going to go in with half double crochets. So we're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that first stitch, pull through, pull through three. We're going to put one half double crochet into every stitch, making our way all the way around, leaving the same amount of stitches that we did single crochets over here. So I'm going to leave six stitches and close off with six single crochets, and then I'll meet you guys back. We've just finished our second row, and that was a row of single crochet and half double crochets that went all the way around. We did do a slip stitch into that chain up of one space. So I'm going to do a chain up of one, flip my work, and then I'm going to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. So insert your hook into that first back loop, yarn over, pull through everything. Next back loop, yarn over, pull through everything. Continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch and slip stitch into that chain up of one space. We finished our third sleeve row, which was a back loop slip stitch row, and now we're going to do another row of single crochets and half double crochets, but with a decrease because we need this to cinch around our arm. So I did a chain up of one, and then I'm going to put one single crochet for the same amount of single crochets that I did for my previous single crochet row. So I had a total of six. So I'm going to start off by putting six back loop single crochets. Now that I have my six back loop single crochets, we're going to do a decrease of two back loop single crochets. So insert your hook into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through one, insert your hook into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through one, we should have three loops on our hook. So yarn over and pull through all three. From here, we're going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until we have the same amount of stitches here because we're going to do another decrease and single crochets. So I'm going to leave eight stitches along the back and that's six for my six single crochets and two for our decrease. I'll meet you guys back on the other side. I've just made my way around with my back loop half double crochets and I have left my eight stitches. So into the next two stitches, I'm gonna be doing a decrease of two back loop single crochets. Into that next back loop, I'm gonna insert my hook, yarn over, pull through. Into that next back loop, I'm gonna insert my hook, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, and pull through three. And close this row off by putting one back loop single crochet into every stitch and slip stitch into that chain up of one space. And now that I've finished off this row, I'm going to do a chain up of one and flip, and then I'm gonna put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And then I'm going to be repeating these two previous rows until this gets nice and snug around our arm. And then I'll meet you guys back so that we can go in with the length of our sleeve. All right, I've gone in with 11 rows and now my sleeve is nice and snug on the arm. I'm now going to even out my sleeve. So we're gonna be doing the same two rows, but without the decreases. So just as a refresher, since I ended on a slip stitch row, I'm going to do a chain up of one and flip my work, but my work is already flipped. And I'm going to do my six single crochets because that's what I was doing before I did my decrease. Now that I have my six single crochets, I'm going to prepare for a half double crochet and then make my way all the way around putting one half double crochet into every stitch, making sure that I close off with the same amount of single crochets that I started this row with. When we reach the end, slip stitch into that chain up of one space, do a chain up of one, flip your work, and then do a row of back loop slip stitches with no increases and no decreases. And we are going to be repeating those two rows until this becomes completely horizontal on our arm when it's worn. And then I'll meet you back so we can go in with the length. All right, my evening rows are all done, and now I'm going to work on my sleeve length. I have a total of 25 rows right here, and we just finished on a back loop slip stitch row. And since everything is even, I'm now just going to make my way down with a back loop half double crochet and back loop slip stitch row until we reach our elbow or until where we want to decrease because we do want the sleeve to be snug. So just to start off our half double crochet row with you guys, we're going to do a chain up of two and then all we're going to do is put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch once we don't have any more slip stitch into that second chain do a chain up of one flip your work and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch just like how we were doing before 
and then I'll meet you guys back to show you guys how we're going to decrease. All right, I have made my way all the way down to my elbow and I want to decrease into my 58th row. And that's a decrease into the half double crochet row. So just to show you guys how we're gonna do it, we're going to start by doing a chain up of two and flip our work. We're going to do a decrease into the two stitches nearest to our chain up of two. So let's start that, we're gonna yarn over, insert your hook into that first back loop, pull through, into that next back loop, pull through, yarn over, pull through all four. And from here, we're going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until we reach the middle of our sleeve so that we can decrease along the outside as well. Now that we've put one half double crochet into every back loop until we reach the outside stitches of the sleeve, we're gonna do a decrease of two one more time. So into that next stitch, yarn over, pull through, into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through all four. Continue to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, and then slip stitch this into the second chain. Do a chain up of one, flip your work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And keep alternating between these two rows, decreasing where necessary until we get the length of our sleeve. I'm gonna keep going until I have a total of 69 rows, and I'm gonna be decreasing into the 58th, which is the row that we're working on, the 60th and the 68th row. And then I'll meet you guys back so we can go in with our cuff. All right, I am all finished with my sleeve. I did do a chain up of one and cut, and now we're going to work on our cuff. So the first thing we're gonna do is try on our piece, and then we're gonna insert our stitch marker into the stitch that's nearest to our thumb. And we're gonna make sure we're doing that on both sides. And then once we have that stitch marker stitch, we're going to insert our hook into that stitch. And then from here, we're going to make a chain the length that we want our cuff to be, keeping in mind that we will have a thumb hole slit. So this is going to have to come mid hand. So I'm gonna start off by making a chain of 20 and that's five inches or 13 centimeters. And now that we have our chain, we're gonna block off that last chain, do a chain of a one, and then into that chain that we blocked off or the second chain from our hook, we're going to insert, there's two loops on our hook, yarn over, and pull through both. Insert your hook into that next chain, yarn over, and pull through both loops. We're gonna put one slip stitch into every chain. Now that we have slip stitched into every chain, we're now going to insert our hook into that next available stitch into the base because we need to close off this row. So insert, yarn over, and pull through everything. To work our way up to the next row, we're gonna slip stitch into the next stitch into the base, yarn over, pull through everything. We're gonna flip our work. We're gonna put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, making our way down. We don't have any more stitches left, do a chain up of one. Flip your work and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, connecting it into the base the same way that we just did. I'll meet you guys back when we don't have any more base stitches left to go into to show you guys how we're gonna seam it up. I've made my way around with my back loop slip stitch rows and I don't have any more stitches left, so now we are going to seam our cuff, but leave a little slit for our thumb hole. So I have tried mine on and I have inserted my stitch marker around where I want my thumb hole to be. So if you guys have my numbers from the base, I counted up 11 inserted my stitch marker, counted five stitches away, and then into that next stitch, inserted my stitch marker into there. And from here, we're going to do an outside loop slip stitch all the way up until we reach our first stitch marker. So inserting our hook into the first available stitch into the front panel, we're gonna insert only in through that front loop, and then inserting our hook into the next available stitch into the back panel, making sure we're going into that back loop, we're gonna insert our hook into there. And once we have that, we should have three loops on our hook. So we're gonna yarn over and pull through all three. Let's do the next one. Into the next available stitch into the front panel. Insert your hook into that front loop and then into the next available stitch into the back panel. Insert your hook in through that back loop. Yarn over and pull through everything. Continue to do this until we reach our first stitch marker. Now that we've reached our first stitch marker, I'm going to do a chain up of one and cut. And then I'm going to skip these stitches that I have in between my stitch marker and then reinsert my hook into these stitches right here and then continue going in with my outside loop slip stitch seam. So I've inserted my hook into the front loop into the front panel. 
and then into that same back loop into the back panel. Insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through, do a chain up of one, and then continue to do our outside loop slip stitch seam. So insert into that next front loop into the front panel, and then insert into that next back loop into the back panel. Yarn over and pull through everything. We're gonna keep doing this until we don't have any more stitches left. Do a chain up a one and cut, and then do everything that we did for the sleeve on the other side. And now that we've finished both sleeves, our entire sweater is all done. So go ahead and weave in all of your ends. We've woven in our ends and our turtleneck is all finished. I've always loved a good turtleneck ever since I was young, probably because I'm always cold. But now we get to stay nice and cozy in our sleek and modern turtleneck sweater, and I couldn't be happier. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDTIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Enter this week's pattern giveaway by letting us know what you did over the weekend. Good luck to everyone who enters. Also, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up because believe it or not, it actually helps. And be sure to share us on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. Those links are down below. Link to our Etsy page is down there too if you want to buy this piece or any other piece on the channel. And be sure to favorite the shop so you don't miss out on new patterns and exclusive deals. As always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.